what's up, LD Shadow Lady here, and welcome back to X Live, where I have just discovered this adorable figurine that Catherine built of me, and she tucked it away behind these trees, so I didn't even find it until now. So today on X Live, I'm going to be joining Joey's mysterious witch coven because last time I caught him doing some strange things in the woods, and now I find this lectern outside my front door, surrounded by these ominous black candles. Dearest Lizzie, congratulations, you've been invited to join the exclusive X. Life Coven of Witches. In order to become a full-fledged witch and a member of the coven, you must showcase the following to Joey under a full moon at his wolf sanctuary. Number one, you must have a broom. Number two, you must find a rare animal as your familiar. Number three, you must display some sort of magic. Sincerely, Supreme Witch Joey. A coven of witches sounds so lovely and wholesome and nothing like the cult of Jeremyism. So all I have to do is complete these three tasks on the checklist to prove myself worthy. So to make a broom, I'm gonna need lapis, string, wheat, a log, and this file of animation. And in all my long years on X Life, I have never come across one of those. So we're gonna have to go searching. And I've decided that the best way to find one of these files of animation is deep down in the depths of this earth. Yes, we need to go underground. And while we're at it, it would be nice to actually collect some diamonds because Turtle Jeremy completely bankrupted me. This is my only diamond. So I'm taking my hammer underground and I'm hoping to find some dungeons with some chests. One eternity later. I did eventually break into a mine shaft and started looking around for chests, but not a single one had the file of animation that I so desperately needed. No! Dang it! None of these chests have what I want. And then I accidentally stumbled upon this guy. Whoa, who is that? Ah! Oh my gosh. Why did he have diamond armor? Oh, okay, maybe not. Feddy's diamond tunic? Blimey neck. After my near-death experience, I continued with my search and eventually I found what I was looking for. <gasps> the file of animation is mine. And therefore, the broom is mine. But first, I need to figure out what to do with this weird, mysterious diamond chest plate. How does it give you minus gravity? Oh my god. What? Wait. Look at my hearts. What? on earth does this mean? It gave me extra hearts. Oh my gosh, I'm the goddess of life. Wait, what happens if I take it off? Oh no, I crashed the server. Okay, everything's fine, but maybe we should put this dangerous chest plate somewhere that it won't cause any problems right here. And now back to some broom crafting. Here we go, fulfilling my witchy goals. My enchanted broom. I feel so magical. Let's test this thing out. Okay, this is cute. I love this. Oh no! <gasps> Oops. Okay, let's pop this on display right here. It's like a weird pet. And that means the number one is completed. Next, I must find a rare animal as my familiar. And I have the perfect idea for the animal that I would like as my familiar. As you guys know, I'm obsessed with my pandas back here. I have many pandas, but there is a special type of panda which I have never seen, and that is this grumpy panda, and I think he would be the perfect witch's companion. So I just need to work a little bamboo magic, and hopefully, eventually, the panda that I desire will be summoned through the magical process of childbirth. Three days later. I've been breeding pandas for so long. Look how many of them there are, and I still don't have the rare grumpy panda. Eventually. <gasps> yes! My grumpy boy! Come with me. Fresh out of the womb. Isn't he cute? Oh, no way you're going! Oh my gosh. We gotta be careful with this guy. He's very, very rare. I hope that this will satisfy criteria number two. Find a rare animal as your familiar. Let's get this guy home. What am I meant to do with my new familiar? Do I need to train it? Or is he just magical? <gasps> we should give him a name. I will name you Moonpaw. Where'd he go? Oh my gosh, get down from there. Now I have bestowed upon you this honorable name. Please behave yourself. Oh, he's got a little cold. So now I have my broomstick and my familiar. All I need to do is display some sort of magic and then I'll be able to join the coven. So 
I think I'm gonna be a bit of a bad witch, so my power should be to cause chaos. And I have the perfect idea. So, down here in my spooky basement, I have a brewing stand. All I have to do is concoct a potion of repellence. It will inflict damage upon anybody that stands around me, which is sure to cause quite a stir. So, I'm gonna need a raw lionfish. I don't seem to have any in my chests. So it looks like Moonpaw and I are going on a fishing trip. So I'm heading to the coral reef and Moonpaw and I will, I guess, do some fishing. But none of these are lionfish. Wait, what's that in the distance? Oh, that looks like a lionfish over there. Sneak up on him. Oh my gosh. Oh, he poisoned me. Oh, oh, he's attacking me. Whoa, that was a cooked lionfish. No, I did not mean to cook him. Oh dear. Yes, we have the raw lionfish. Come on, Moonpaw, let's go. Now I can craft this mysterious potion. And soon you will see exactly what the potion of repellents can do. Now I will go and meet with Supreme Witch Joey. Good evening, <gasps> Joey. Oh wow, you really snuck up on me there. <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting you so soon, hi. I'm very interested in joining the coven. In fact, I have already fulfilled all the criteria to become a member. Oh, wonderful. Well, I can't wait to see. Let's start with the first one. Did you make a broom? I do have a broom. Cool. Do you have a familiar? I do. Would you like to see <gasps> him? Yes, I would love to. Here he is. <gasps> that is so cute. Okay. And your final task is show some magical ability. Well, oh allow me to demonstrate. Okay, what's happening? <gasps> You've infected me! What is it? It's magic, Joey. I guess you have fulfilled all the requirements. So I would like to officially welcome you to join the coven. I have two gifts to bestow upon you. <gasps> oh, which hat? <gasps> oh my gosh. That's right. Hello, sister. <laughs> I feel like a true witch now. Well, there's one more thing, Lizzie. We have enemies on the server, okay? Wait, who are they? Well, probably Jeremiahism, but also other people who hate witches. So oh. there's something to protect us here. It's a charm. Charm of invisibility? How does this work? Yeah. Well, it's <gasps> working now. Look at your <gasps> I'm invisible. How do I stop it? How do I be seen again? <laughs> so would you like to meet the rest of the coven? Yeah. Okay, cool. We'll hop on your broom and let's fly, sister. Oh, I've broken the tree. Oh, I've broken all the trees. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just over here. It's beautiful. Ladies, we have a new member to the okay. coven. Wow, this is magical. What is this? This is our magical crystal. <gasps> it provides us all of our powers. Mm -hmm. <gasps> this is so cute. Wait, what is this? Oh, this is our library. I love it. <gasps> Practice some magical spells. Oh, that's the restricted Straight section. Straight into the restricted section. Yeah. You're a baby. Oh, sorry, sorry, You're sorry. sorry. What can I say? I'm a bad witch. Oh, yeah. Lizzie, how about we show off your powers? Yeah, are you guys ready? <gasps> Maybe not to grab. <laughs> I think we should all show each other our familiars. Should we all oh. take them out? Let's do it. <gasps> that's so cute. Oh, my gosh. Oh, This is Flip. Oh, <laughs> and this is Moonpaw. Uh, it's a good job well, none of our well, pets want to kill each other, isn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Lizzie, another thing that we're going to be doing as Witches of the Coven is we're going to be building islands that float outside the main <gasps> island, and we'll have our own private witch islands where our familiar will stay. Cute. Okay. I'm gonna build mine right now. Okay, cool. Now, in order to build this safely, I'm going to be harnessing the power of my ring of flight to allow me to fly. And I have selected this little island over here to build my little witch sanctuary. So the first step is to actually make this look like a floating island. So let's start by adding some shape to the bottom here. There. Now it looks like this has been plucked from the ground and is floating in the air. Now I just need to build something on here to represent me as a witch. And I think it would be perfect to build a giant cauldron since my powers come from potions. So hopefully I can make this look good, even though it's literally just a giant black blob. Ta-da! Here is the shape of the cauldron. Now we just need to add some special effects to make it look like there is a potion brewing within. And I have decided to go for a green color and it looks so vibrant. 
Now let's try and make it look like there are bubbles coming out of the cauldron. We could also add these particle effects to it. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. What does it look like in the dark? <gasps> wow! Now for the final touch, I think we need a little symbol on the cauldron and since the coven building already has this huge beautiful moon on top of it, I thought that would be perfect for my cauldron. Okay, that's cute. Now is the question of how to get inside the cauldron. <laughs> Maybe we should make it so that you have to jump down the middle into the potion. Yes, this is what I will do. And inside the cauldron is going to be where Moonpaw lives. <laughs> which means it's time for a little makeover in here. So first I have this beautiful rug, which really matches the green corrupted aesthetic we have in here. Then I also made some custom bookshelves, but instead of having books on them, it has lots of items that I might need in my potion making. And every single thing on here is from vanilla Minecraft. So if you recognize everything on these shelves, let me know in a comment below, because some of these are from really obscure places. Then I think we need a little plant life and let's just put this stack of ancient books there and over here I'm gonna create a basic table and here I have a crystal ball I also have this candelabra that looks like it belongs in the haunted mansion so it's perfect for my lair now let's put another table over here and this time I'm gonna place down my favorite a slime ball and let's put down another candle and I bought some of these aura shoots from Catherine but I need to plant them on this special grass so, oh, that one was blue, and I believe they come in different colors. That one's yellow. What color is this? Green. Oh my gosh, I love these. This is so magical. Hey, can I place down an ender pearl, or am I gonna end up? Oh, I nearly died. Okay, no more messing around with ender pearls. Okay, now finally, I think we need something on the walls. So let's place some of these pictures. And I would love to put some beautiful artwork of Moonpaw up in these picture frames. So I will just try to grab a cute screenshot for now. Oh my gosh, this is harder than I thought it would be. <laughs> there. So that is it for this episode of X Life. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please let me know by leaving a like and I will see you next time. Oh, Moonpaw, Plum and Egg.